So this question says the perimeter of a square inscribed in a circle is 30 inches. So first of all, I'm going to use this idea of plug-in picture. Um, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a circle. And the question says I have a square inscribed, which just means inside, basically, of the circle. The perimeter is 30, which means every side has to be 7.5, right? Because for a square, every side is exactly the same. So I could just divide, right? Just do 30 divided by 4, which is 7.5. So those are the sides of my square. The radius of the circle is x square root 2 inches. So how should I draw a radius? So the radius is from the center to the edge of the circle. Just so I at least have a line that becomes part of my square, I'm going to draw a diagonally. I could choose any diagonal that I want it, but let's just choose the bottom left. So this distance right here is x root 2. Okay. What is the value of x? Okay. So what could I do? I could, let's see. I am going to turn this into a right triangle by dropping a line here and making this a right angle. I'm doing that because I, I know quite a bit about this square. So I know that the entire height of this square is 7.5. And I know that this dot represents the center of the circle, but it also represents the center of that 7.5 line, which means when I draw... I'm going to just push this out here. When I draw my right triangle here, I actually know that the height of this right triangle is half of 7.5, which makes it 3.75. And I also know that the base of this right triangle right, is also half of 7.5, so it's also 3.75. And then I have this x root 2 here. Well, this looks very familiar to me. This is an isosceles right triangle. And if you recall, for isosceles right triangles, the two legs are both x and x, and then the hypotenuse is x root 2. So in essence, we already know what x is, right? Because x must be the legs. So this x here must be 3.75. So that's my answer.